my kit that I used to make these raised beds. It was a great kit, but it's starting to decompose. It keeps falling apart and we have to keep reinforcing it. So I think I'm going to take that out and just build the cinder blocks higher and have that be my raised bed. But they're coming this week to put up the high tunnel, so I have to finish that and figure out how to get those posts out. Here's my supervisor, smart girl laying in the cool shade. Aren't you baby girl? You smart girl? Yeah. Well, here's the extension that we're planning on this. The plan is to extend that one down here, make a little L with it, and get rid of that piece so that it will improve the flow here. And we're still debating this piece. So we're building some raised beds and we're doing one row of cinder blocks and I have some extras so I'm going to fill in, help reduce the cost of soil if I get that part cinder blocked in and then I've still got quite a depth left that I can put soil and it's going to go around here and replacing this one that's breaking apart. So we're just going to extend that one on around. Here's our planters we bought as a kit and they served for many years but now they're starting to come apart. I actually fell through the back side of, of this one. And so we are redesigning and replacing. So this is a new piece but this is the basic plan. We have cinder block on the bottom and then wood on top. We're using two by six boards and four by four corners. This thing is rock solid. So this one's a completely new one here. And then this one is what we're rebuilding. We had a second one of these. And so we are made it into just a straight piece here to open up the porch a bit. And since I can access this one from this side, we're adding another piece over here to access from this side. And that's gonna be our raised bed porch area. It's really nice and high so that very little bending is required. So the raised beds are pretty much done. I plan all the posts that are sticking up. I plan to paint a dark brown bronzy color and then put these solar lights on top. So there's one, there's a after and a before showing you what I'm planning to do with those corners that are sticking up. So I'll end up with six in the front two little beds there and then six in the back larger bed. And I think I'm going to stain the wood a little bit darker so that it won't look quite so much like just raw wood. And then I'm thinking I might use some stencils and add a little bit of art to them as well. But those are the raised beds and 
I still need to fill up to the top with with soil. I need to get a big load of that because I have quite a lot to fill. And in the high tunnel, I'm going to have raised beds in there as well. Not this high, not as high as these, just like two boards high off the ground. But I still am going to need a lot of soil for that. So I'm trying to find a place that has a mix of 50-50 soil and compost. And if I can find that and not have to mix it myself, that would be totally awesome.